Hey, I'm Indy. I'm a singer-songwriter from Auckland, and I'm now based in New York. I started out music when I was seven. I was writing a lot of little songs. My family is very loud. I have three siblings. There was always I was playing clarinet. My sisters play guitar. My little brother's screaming, playing Lego and things like that. It was always very loud, very creative. My dad's always singing to us. My mum's always writing. So um, it was always a very busy household, and I don't think I would have it any other way. That creativity really enabled me to pursue my dreams as a singer, as a as a poet, as a songwriter. It made me feel that that was never off the table for me. It was. I don't think that without that creative source in my life from such a young age, I would have been able to have pursued this at all, really. You're holding me up, you're holding me hostage. What I really loved about writing this EP was that I pulled from my real life experiences. It felt really cathartic to um, just get my, my thoughts out into, into a song form. Moving away from a country to a big city is always really strange. I feel like I'm always torn between where I grew up and who I am now, but I think that New York is such a pulse, such it's always inspiring for me, and I think that my best songs have come out, out from living there as a young adult. Growing up with my sister, I literally was 18 in New York listening to melodrama, city biking around. Um, it's been really an interesting journey. It's been really helpful to have her on my side in terms of business advice. The main thing that she's always given me advice on is like, this creative journey is, is really, you have to be really authentic and honest with yourself. And that's why I feel like I'm very proud of this EP just because it it feels very me, you know, and I wanted, I wanted my first body of work to be really specific and an honest representation of who I am. I love being in the studio, I love nailing a, a, a sound of a song, um, hearing the harmonies, getting that all right, but I love the photo shoots and the fun clothes and talking to people and, and meeting other people who have this amazing job. I feel feel like I'm quite a vivacious person, so I feel like all of it feels quite fun to me. Cause I'm a killer, and I'll mess you up. It is fun to dream big, and I've already had little milestones happen that I'm so proud of that I didn't know, even know would happen. Hopefully I can improve over time with little different sounds that I explore, but I would say the joy is ultimately the same, so I hope that stays the same. I hope that doesn't change. I mean, good luck to her. I can relate to that. I, w I went through high school two years after my older sister, who was ducks of the school, prefect, got a scholarship. <laughs> She's a professor in a high school now, and I'm a stand-up comedian, so... Oh, <laughs> no. You're both awesome in your own right. Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah. you're a big star, so Thank it's like, you. who's Thank laughing you. now? She is, because she's rich and... <laughs> oh, we love you, Jessie. Well, I am just excited to see another beautiful, smart, cool female voice out there in Aotearoa's music industry. I think it's very cool. Yeah, music sounded great. Um, you can listen to it yourself. Her debut EP is called Threads, and it's out now.